Welcome back to Hot Rod High School. In today's episode, we will be using a Hunter Road Force Elite Hammerhead Tire Balancer to balance the tire and wheel assembly. So this is the latest and greatest with all the bells and whistles and everything you could possibly want to do a tire balance. Uh, this thing literally does all the work for you. Uh, it has all the different various sizes of collets down here that you can choose to uh, put for the correct size for your wheel and tire assembly. I had the correct one already sitting out over here. We just go through and make sure that it's the right one that fits through that center point in the wheel. This is gonna be a really basic demonstration. I'm gonna include a link to uh, the Hunter representative that will give a more detailed explanation in the comment section below. Okay. So I set up the tire on this little table here that slides back and forth. And also if I use this little gray uh, pedal right here, if I lift up on it, that lifts the tire up in the air for me. If I push down on it, that lowers the tire back down. So I'm just gonna lift it up. So the tire is about center with the spindle and just push my tire and wheel assembly into place just like so. Now I'll take and run my clamp onto here. If I were to double tap this black pedal, it would actually spin the clamp on there for me. I find that to be just a little bit much. So I'll go ahead and screw it on myself. All right, so I just lower the table out of the way. And now I want to with the uh, cone not being quite tight, I'm gonna give it a little roll and just give it a few taps to make sure that this tire and wheel assembly is completely centered up. Okay, next up, you cannot balance a tire that is flat or is at, not at the uh, a proper inflation. So this machine is gonna have me check for tire inf inflation, I'll put it on there. I'll see that this tire has already been set to 32 PSI. It is ready to be balanced. So as soon as I lower the hood on this machine, it's gonna automatically start rotating the tire and uh, checking for imbalance. I uh, reset the camera here because I want you to be able to see this piece um, that's in the background there. And that's a, a large roller assembly. It's actually going to come in contact with the tire as it rotates and simulate the tire driving down the road. So we can identify a, a whole bunch more information about this tire and how well it's operating. Okay, now that the tire is rotated and been checked by the road force, we see that it is now ready to be balanced. So it is asking for 1.25 ounces of weight on the outside and one ounce of weight over on the inside. One really cool thing about this machine, I don't know if you can see it from right here, it actually has this little laser light on it that shows exactly where the weight needs to go. So I'll find a 1.25 ounce weight, and I'm just going to line that up with this laser light that's showing on the side of the rim here. No need to guess or try and eyeball where the center line on the spindle is or anything. This thing is gonna tell me perfectly where to place this weight. So I've gotten the correct weight placed on the outside of the tire. And now if I want to place the weight on the inside of the tire, all I got to do here 
is click or uh, hit the part of the screen that has the weight displayed on it for the inside. And it'll rotate that tire over so that I put my weight in the exact perfect place. So now you should be able to see where that little laser light is on there. And now I'm just going to take my weight and just put it directly in the center of that laser light and then hammer it on to the rim. And now we're ready to do one final spin to make sure that all the weights were placed in the correct location. Okay, now we'll lower the hood and do that final check spin to make sure all the weights are perfect. And yep, has that green okay on both sides, which tells me that this tire is perfectly balanced and ready to go back onto the vehicle.